I just say it like that. Okay, guys. Uh. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay, guys. guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? We are about to try the best and top rated items from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is different. Yeah. Is the original, like, farmer's market supermarket. I always thought they got the most unique items they there. They got funky like, items, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm got, looking at it, I was like, what? They got funky items, but they're not bougie, yeah. like yeah. Whole Foods. No, so the things that we have on the table that we're eating today are all the highest rated Trader Joe's food. And the customers have decided, it's kind of like uh, Amazon reviews. You know how you always go uh, for the top rated item with the most reviews off Amazon? This is pretty much this, except for Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, top rated foods, let's, let's go. go. Thank you so much for clicking on that video and big shout out to the sponsor of this video lull for sending us new mattresses in a box We got the pillows Hey. We're gonna pull it out right here Thank you, Lowe, for sponsoring this post. Okay, guys. First, we gotta start with the hot food. We're gonna start with the burritos. Frozen burritos, bro. Uh, we have to provide some context for the people. Carnitas burrito from Trader Joe's. Good, no, but it's not frozen. When the tortilla wrap, it's not hard. Yeah, it's yeah. soft. And there's no freezer burn on the- Oh man, that guac is interesting. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, I gave it a 3 out of 5 to start. Okay. Yeah. You know? I gave it a 3 out of 5. Okay. I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I, I could see it getting up better from here. Next piece. Okay. Whoa! This is a super burrito. This is a vegetarian burrito. No meat. There's only carrots, quinoa, some greens. No. <laughs> it's going to be good. I already know. It's going to be good. I'm ready. Hey, be, be honest. Keep it real, man. <laughs> Keep it real with the audience. I'm excited to taste it. You yeah, know? Hey, you know i I've never had a vegetarian no. burrito before. Super burrito. Interesting. No, not bad. You know, no, I kind of like it for a quinoa right. burrito. I'm a fan. I give it 3.5. But... Take the Yo, now meal. are you eating the whole thing? Wow! Nell uh -huh. has eaten almost 90% of that burrito piece. I give it a 3.5 out of five. Pretty I, good. I would but... say it's better than the carnitas. I give it a 3.5 okay. out of five too. Okay. Next up, we have a pollo asada burrito. We have another vegetarian burrito from Trader Joe's. Yeah. I keep getting the beanie bite. Not as much flavor as the other ones. Okay. Very mushy. Yeah. I would actually give it a three out of five. I, I give that a three. I would give this burrito two point five out of five. It had a uh, lack of flavoring compared to the other two that we just ate. I mean, the chorizo does add a little bit of you know delicacy to it. Okay. But not significantly you no. know, better. All right, guys. Here we have the chicken sausage breakfast burrito. Oh, David, oh, oh, you I, love breakfast burritos. I do. I it's funny because uh, you love breakfast food, but you're not a morning person. Ah! Me, Listen. I just tend to start my mornings at ten a.m. You can't go wrong with breakfast burritos. For this potato. It's pretty good. Oh. It's overall, it's pretty good. Dude, I could, can you imagine with hot sauce how good that would be? A little a tad bland. A yeah. little tad bland. Look, I give it a 3 5. Same 3 5. I give it a 3 5. five. You know what I would give? I give the tortilla a 5 out of 5. Uh -huh. I give the tortilla a 5 out of 5. Fat. Every single burrito I eat, I just enjoy eating the freaking tortilla. About to try the number one rated burrito. The most simplest one, too. The simplest one. It is the bean and jack cheese burrito. Guys, the number one ranked burrito. At Trader Joe's. At Trader Joe's, let's do it. This one is very regular. I don't see anything special with this one, to be honest. Like, I it's cool. Even, I can't even take a second bite, man. It's yeah. like that, huh? It's like that, man. It's even like the that. jack cheese just didn't have the sharpness. Yo, honestly, that's the bottom two for me. For sure. 2.5 out of five. Two out of five for me. Straight two disappointment, man. I have to go 2.5 out of five. Oh, I'm, out I'm out just five, disappointed, man. man. The second highest rated to go item are the rainbow wrap. Here, now I will give you the middle piece because I've been eating the middle pieces of the burrito. It's all recently. good. I want the end. 
Nani? Weirdo! Stay consistent. Weirdo! Weirdo! <laughs> oh, you got chickpeas in there, you've got the sweet potato, you've got some very vibrant greens. You got some beets, beets, spinach, curried hummus, sweet potato. That's kind of hard to eat too. The eatability, give it 2.5. I give it a three out of five because it tastes really healthy, but there's nothing special about it. To me, I think this product comes from a different world. I give it a three out of five though. Yeah. I show I show it respect. Oh, no, just like say, just say, say, it, say it. Oh, oh shit. Damn, shot me in the eye. This is a triple ginger brew ginger ale with a kick. I mean, it it's... kicked me in the eye. This is good. The oh, ginger is strong. It's good. It's good. Actually, uh, a little I feel bit, the kick. It actually reminds me of like a little bit like a Chinese drink. Yeah. yeah. What do you what do you guys think about like really ultra traditional? Quasi medicinal flavors in bobas. I I like it. I want to. I would love for the tradition to come back to boba, and that's why I don't drink that much milk tea. But I gotta give it a three point five out of five. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Say say what I'm it gonna is. Give, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It was yeah, that's not, not spectacular. Bad. It's not spectacular. This is the top rated appetizer from Trader Joe's. This is the. Spinach artichoke. Reduce guilt. I like how that, that's a really funny term. Reduce guilt. Basically, this is the oh, diet. It is reduce good. that. This is four out of five. You really feel that spinach artichoke creamy cheesy flavor, but that's what allows it to have be, you know, reduced calories. That's what allows for the diet. You know, that's, that's what allows for like, there to be so few calories in such a decadent dish. Four out of five. Four out of five. Double four out of five. Four out of five. It's good. Man, I gotta stop myself. No, it's good, man. It's guilt free, David. Go at it. I don't know. Guys, we are moving on to the top rated hot foods from Trader Joe's. This is the chicken tikka masala. I'm gonna sauce up my corner. Obviously, you can kind of tell the chicken was frozen. It's the curry. Yeah. There's so much butter in it. And the way that it melts, it almost tastes like the restaurant. Four ooh, out of five. Four. Ooh, ooh. I was gonna say three out of five. Um, it's a pretty good dinner, and I thought it, it didn't have enough kick to it. Tikka masala, I believe, has more spice than like butter chicken. <coughs> Are you sure I don't have yeah. enough spice? <coughs> you wanna retract your thoughts? I give it a four. I think it's fairly affordable. It has a good portion, not too much, you know, not too little. Uh, I like the spice and the curry, but my favorite part, I think, is I like the rice. It kind of feels a bit like the taste. The texture of it, kind of like a noodle. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like Yo, that. Yo, very long. Yeah. If you guys know about um, Indian rice, basmati rice, very, very Yo, long. Look rate. how long that rice is. Moving on to the Italian version of mochi, gnocchi. Gnocchi, like gnocchi. Gnocchi. Oh, so normally gnocchi is made out of potato and flour. This is cauliflower and flour. By itself, I give it a two out of five. Okay, by itself. But I do think that one, you're not really supposed to microwave it. Two, you're probably supposed to eat it with some sauce. But by itself, I gotta give it a, a two five. A 2.5, but the potential's there for it to be a four. This is the Mandarin orange chicken. Not Trader Joe's, it's Trader Ming's because it's Chinese food. Bruh, isn't, what happened to Trader Cho's, man? Trader Cho's. Trader Ming's Mandarin orange chicken. The batter's not too thick. You can really get the taste of chicken. The batter's not too thick, and the flavor of the sauce is very good. This is the highest rated item in, in the entire Trader Joe's grocery store. 4.5 out of 5, then. Whoa! I stand by it. I give it a 4 out of 5. 5 out of 5! Five. 5! Woo! There's 5, right? And then there's 5. That's it. It's over. Video over. Darkness, my old friend. Oh, boom, boom. Thank goodness I was not sitting right here or I would've got slapped. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? This is wild. Yeah. This is the highest rated drink. The ginger brew was the second highest rated. This is the highest rated drink of the entire trailer. So Joe's. you're telling me that the number one drink in the store is water. Sparkling natural mineral water. Boom! <laughs> well, obviously the ginger brew had more flavor. I mean, you can get Woo! The, I'll tell you this. The carbonation is strong. Look how many bubbles there are. David. All right, moving on to the best baked item here at Trader Joe's. We got the Danish Kringle. It's good, though. It's really good. It's really sweet, though. Why does this look like the character that leads most of the games that you can buy on mobile. Yeah, and he always has his helmet covering his eyes. Like, how can he even see? Kringle, uh, four out of five. Yeah. Whoa, a four out of five. Yeah, here's five. why, here's why, here's why, here's why. It's tasty for a bite, and also it is in the shape of a what? zero. Here's why I'll give it a 3.5. Normally I would give it a three, 
But wow. because Three. it put me in a European state of mind. Guys, we got bread. The second highest rated bakery item from Trader Joe's is the sliced French brioche. Mm -hmm. Let's get this bread, man. Come on, oh, yo, man. Yo, no wonder y'all ain't getting this bread. Y'all don't even know how to turn. Clowning, bro. <laughs> yo, yo we have unexpected cheddar and then French brie. French brie. What's unexpected the, cheddar. I, you know why it's unexpected? Yeah, what's unexpected? Because it's not orange. It's white. I give the sharp cheddar a four, and I give the brie a, a four. I give the the sharp cheddar a three because it could go both ways for me. I don't. I, I just really can't. The brie. I actually enjoyed it. I'll give it, you know, slightly a, one notch higher. Three point five out of five. I'm giving them both 3.5 out of 5. One of the hardest things to do is spread a very thick spread onto soft bread. I'll give this a 3.5 out of 5. So it's a 3.5 for me. I was ready to give it a 5 out of 5! Nelly, 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 you're getting a little emotional here. No, uh, cookie butter is one of my favorite things right, man. It's good. It's it's good. good. You, can, you can put it with anything. You are eating it. Nell is continuing to eat it. This is the best seasoning here at Trader Joe's, most famous. This is the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. Sprinkle it on here and use it as a dip. That's crazy, bro. Yo, this that looks like bird feed. Crazy. Oh my, I can't eat that anymore. Though. I like everything bagels with cream cheese. This kind of gives me the essence of the everything bagel with cream cheese minus the guilt. It tastes good, but it's like OD on the salt. I give it a 3.5 out of five. I give it a three. I give it a three, but if you put too much, it would be like a two. Hit me! Open one! Tell me that ain't salty. Ah! Calyx. No! no! Are you a bird? Give me some hits, give me some views on this video. Look at this! Ah! <laughs> we have one of the top rated produce items at Trader Joe's, which is the sliced apples. Oh, that's good, apples. Fire! Fire apples. I have to give like a one out of five though. Did you do that in front of me. 4.5 out of five for the apple slices. I gave it up. Just short of perfect. Was, these are not bananas. The bananas. These are plantains. The plantainers. We are trying the Trader Joe's plantains. Slight butter, slight salt, not too dry, but thicker than a regular potato chip. I give it a 3.5 out of five. I Please. ate so many, I have to give it a four. Uh, wow. Four out of five. I love Peru. This, this is the number one rated snack at Trader Joe's, guys. Peanut butter filled pretzels, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. All right, Twister. I, I give it a 2.5 out of 5. Yo, you know what? Wow. 2 out of 5. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm done. Wow. Wow. What you think, you know? I just yeah, get yeah. 3 out of 5. You guys, last but not least, this is the peanut butter cup, dark chocolate peanut butter cup. 3.5 out of 5. I give it a 3. I think this was a little healthier. 3.5, 3.5. These are Trader Joe's response to sweetest fish. They are the Scandinavian swimmers. <laughs> and they have this guy in this crazy swimsuit who looks like a straight like terrorist. You are assembling your oh, army of Aquaman right here. I give it a three out of five. Okay, so I tasted all the flavors for every fish like creature. The yellow one is by far the worst one. I give it a three five. I give it a three out of five. Wow! Show, show the people, man. Wow! Show Fish the horse. people, man. This is uh, Nelson's uh, third grade artwork. Nelson, Guys. what would you like to say? You know, these are my little friends. You know, I got the lobsters, and then I got the, the orange fish. Uh, I didn't really like the yellow guy, so you know, I cut him in half. Look. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look. That's, That's how crazy. sticky they are, man. That is crazy. That's how sticky they are. That's I'm going with this. Hold on. The curry. The artichoke dip. Danish Kringles took me to Europe. Ah. Mm. Obviously, I thought the orange chicken did a pretty good job. I enjoyed that quinoa burrito. Apple slices, apple slices. All right, first off, I'm riding with the cookie butter. I guess I'm gonna have to go with all the carbs, with the bread and the tortilla of the burritos. Wow. I mean, you did give it. The, I gave the tortilla, Whoa. I gave the tortilla five out of five, man. I, can, I mean, just amazing. Nelson, you like your cars and you like your carbs. That's why. First of all, after looking into the backstory behind Trader Joe's and how it's owned by a German company, they have a lot of authentic European influence. Everything is so European. Like, you know what I mean? They try to have high quality, affordable versions of things that, you know, people wouldn't know too much about at the American market, whether that's brie or um, certain types of cheeses that are more authentic. You know, I didn't see like American sliced cheese. I think, I think it's really interesting how Trader Joe's one is considered a good company to work for and two, how they have these different lines named after the country that
that the food is inspired by. Right. Like Trader Mings. Trader Mings. Now, now you can be like kind of offended by that and be like, yo, why do you say Ming? Cause like, why has it gotta be Ming? You know, whatever. But well, probably thinking Ming Tsai. Yeah, I mean, there was a person yeah, named, so they took some of the most famous Chinese names and were just like, Ming, Ming it's, it's safe. Yeah, they were like, it's safe. I think the ranking of some of the foods are a little skewed. You mean by the, by the Trader yeah, Joe's? Yeah, by the Trader Joe's, like, you know, uh, which gives me a sense where a lot of things were like, Overrated in a sense, where it, I, I feel like it doesn't cater to all types of people in terms of like you know taste and quality. But I do appreciate how Trader Joe is so authentic and to themselves, and also provide you with a simplistic way of shopping. Where okay, we'll give you the top of the line items, where you don't have to like go out searching on which one you want to pick out because you know we already picked it up. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video from Trader Joe's. We just tried all the top items. Uh, voted on by their customers guys let us know in the comments below what other items or grocery stores we should go check out because this is very very interesting the supermarket thing is a lot more deeper than you think man trust me all right everybody nelson chan from hoop and life david andrew check us out at our links down below until next time we out peace